here, just like I said I would be. Um, so, as you can probably guess from my title, I wanted to talk about our podcast. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to plug it or anything like that, just straight off the bat, I'm not trying to plug it. Um, but I wanted to give some insight because although I might feel like everybody and their grandma has a podcast now, um, the reality might be that you don't know anyone that has a podcast that's still going because um, from what I understand, like the rise of the podcast was mostly during the pandemic, rise of YouTube channels was mostly during the pandemic. We were a little late to the game, so towards the end of lockdown is when we started ours. And when I say ours, I mean me and my husband. So, um, you know, I, we've been going at this podcast thing for about almost like two and a half years. Almost, no, a little over two years. Um, and we've had our ups and downs. Um, we were very excited. We kind of just, we were both very like, like we knew what it wanted to, wanted it to be so much to the point where it, we like put a bunch of rules on ourselves as to how we would present ourselves, um, the content that we would create, what's allowed and what isn't. And for some, for, for some of us, there's literally only two of us in this relationship. Um, it was, these things were assumed. So, and the reason why I wanted to talk about it is because, another reason why is because we're literally getting ready to record in about an hour or so. And we had to stop because if you don't know, we live with my parents um, for, se for several reasons and um, very big reasons. Uh, so because we live with my parents, we have to wait until they sort of settle down because we live with them in a very, very, very small house with the very, very thin walls. So you can imagine how, how crazy that is. Uh, for a newly married couple, fairly newly married couple, uh, start, especially if they're starting up something like this. So, um, so that, that's also been a challenge, um, just sort of like coordinating schedules that seemingly always seem to change. Uh, but one thing that doesn't change is sleep. They have to sleep sometime. So we're just going to have to wait until they like settled down for bed so that we could record um anyways so I was like you know what um I was thinking about what kind of topics I wanted to touch on because I just didn't want to get on stream and just freestyle it you know because I feel like it would get very repetitive and I don't know what this vlogmas is going to look like for me um but I'm very curious to find out what it will look like so, um, circling back to what I was talking about, um, I don't know, I, I imagine this happens to a lot of podcasts where it's two or more people hosting, but there could be a lot of creative differences, a lot of, um, like, I don't know, and I think it really just depends on the personalities and where you guys are where people are in their capacity to receive each other's messages, um, their capacity to be receptive, you know, to um, not so much criticism, but feedback, um, constructive feedback, um, and self-awareness, really. If there is, if there isn't any of that, then I f it's, I feel like it things like that would be short-lived you know just like any business you know um, and if it ends bitterly then that could also result in the end of whatever the relationship is so um, 
and we are not like excluded from that my husband and I were not excluded from that we've had our ups and downs um like I said in the beginning we knew what this podcast was what we wanted this podcast to be but what we didn't know is that our vision of what the podcast would be differed in its minor details and those minor details are very important to someone like me so I always wanted it to be you know very like a like a platform where I am free to speak free to be myself and that kind of stuff whereas he is very like content based only like we are not veering off what we're talking about only at the beginning and we're focusing on content and that's it and and I get it because at the time um, our taste and content was very much the same where it's like we like to listen to podcasts or when they talk about a subject they focus on the subject and they don't add a lot of fluff you know there's not a lot of conversation between the two I'm just here to learn kind of podcast you know but because this was something that like I looked at something as like I'm birthing it with love I was like well I want to have fun with it and maybe I should have been more transparent about it but we had our creative differences when it came to that too so in the beginning if you've been listening to the podcast I we, we took turns when it came to stories, like one episode he would present a story, I wouldn't know what it is beforehand, and then the next episode I would do the same thing, and then we changed the format, we would both present stories at the same time, or maybe that was the first format, I can't remember. Anyways, actually I think that was the first format, we both presented, and then towards the end it was a back and forth, like one episode was mine, then the next episode was his, back and forth. So, um, there was one particular topic that I wanted to cover. I was really proud of the research that I did. And we had never had, you know, multiple um, episodes for particular topics, like, you know how there's like part one, part two, part three, how like, but because you don't want like a five hour long podcast, you break it up. So you have to break it up in parts. We had never done that before. And I guess the idea was we didn't want to do that. But I realized that this episode was going to be very long and I didn't want to shave anything off because it would cheapen the story in my eyes, you know? And, like, at the end of the day, I ended up having to shave a few things. And I was like, all right, cool, fine. So I did. But what I didn't realize at the time was that that would be the turning point for me in the podcast. So what I mean is... I started to view ooh, LaCroix excuse me I started to view the podcast as a chore because at that point I started to view it differently you know like it's a chore like if I'm not gonna be able to present my content the way that I want um, then it's not fun you know, it's not like 100% fun anymore. And I only realized this like a few months ago. And it's crazy. Um, like I wasn't happy about it. But I didn't realize it until a few months ago. And this happened a year and a half ago. Okay. Crazy. So, you might be wondering... Why are you talking about this now? Well, the reason why I'm talking about this is because I feel like the reason why I didn't know why I was, like I didn't know this bothered me so much is because 
of the level of self-awareness that I lacked. Okay, so I don't know if you've been watching my streams a lot, but when I stream, I'm always talking about like mental health and like checking in with yourself, right? And it at some point is like really redundant or whatever, but it's important, okay? Had I had the self-awareness um, that I have now, then I would have been able to communicate that I was unhappy with this, this decision because he would be able to listen to me. Like, it's not like he's deaf. It's not like he's cruel. It's not like he's mean. He would have listened. But because I didn't understand how much it was bothering me, because I wasn't checking in with myself, that's where, like, it just soured everything for me. So I'm not saying, like, I did this to myself. And I'm not saying he did it either. But... I am saying, <clears throat> ooh. I, you know what, next time I do these, I'm not drinking those. <laughs> if you're wondering, I'm drinking this. <sighs> Spicy. I'm not saying it's anyone's fault. I'm just saying, unfortunately, because of the way that the cards were like aligned at that time, I guess, the way the stars were that's the result so and we've talked about me jumping in and, and you know like doing the stories again but I moved on like making my own creative space which is this and I love this like if that had never happened I would have never discovered my love for streaming I really enjoy streaming and I thought my path was going to take me towards like editing every week and only being ex like being exclusive to YouTube and you know and that's it excuse me that that world was going to be mine Ugh. I'm so sorry that that world the YouTube world was where where was where I was going to live but here I am on Twitch and I'm going to be making TikToks every day and um, until like the end of December. And I don't know, like, like I found something else that's more fit for me. And I'm not saying that I'm never, ever going to edit because I'm eventually going to have to like overcome that Goliath. But, um, so, you know, because I, I want to learn how to do certain things, but the problem with me is consistency. It's always been an issue for me in regards to like, um, like working out and like playing video games and reading books. Like I hyperfixate, I drop and then I go, right? So the only thing I've been able to be consistent with as of now is my jogging and my gym stuff and I'm really proud of myself because I've come a long way and I'm hoping to stay consistent I just need to take it one day at a time instead of looking at you know my tasks my goals as huge mountains I just have to focus on the first step and that's what I meant like details minor details for me are huge um, because those those are the things that help me like continue and accomplish instead of looking at big picture that's just the way I'm wired so as long as I just remember that and keep checking in with myself I think this vlogmas will be successful but that's the importance of always checking in with yourself and what that means is eliminating distractions um, for just a moment in your day eliminate the distractions stay in silence and then just check in with yourself and then you can go about your day I'm not saying take a whole hour I'm just saying like 
check in with yourself. And I, I think I'll touch more on this uh, tomorrow. What, why the importance of, you know, checking in with yourself um, is so important and sort of like the symptoms of you probably needing to check in with yourself more often or at all. You know what I mean? Like I, I know you pro like say you feel like you do, but maybe there are symptoms in your life that's probably um, disproving that, you know, like anyways, look, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to be vague anymore. I'm going to touch on this further tomorrow. Okay. So I'll see you tomorrow on Twitch. I'll see you tomorrow on TikTok. Um, and that's it. So hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you want to continue following me for Vlogmas, remember I'm here on Twitch. This will be up on YouTube in a little bit and I'm going to be on TikTok as well. I'm on TikTok as well or follow me on Instagram, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> um, oh, hey, look, it's Gayo Mio. Gayo Mio says, thank you for sharing. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to be when I grow up. <laughs> I say that all the time. <gasps> oh my God, no, I just realized. Ah. <sighs> I just recorded or just streamed this whole thing sideways, I think. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I'm going to have to put this on Final Cut and edit it like so I can switch it. Such a pain. Anyways, all right. Well, I uh, hope you guys have a good night or good morning, depending on what part of the world you're watching right now. So, all right. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>